This double-storied house in the central Alappuzha district of Kerala is a landmark. It runs on solar energy. On the roof are panels that harvest sun's power. Shaji, the house owner, set up the panels seven years ago. The panels tap power from the sun's rays and store it in the battery. The power is then routed through the inverter before passing it to the power grid in the house. The solar energy is enough to light up the house and run most of the electrical and electronic gadgets. Fancy lamps, the plasma TV, fridge and the computer do not have to be shut down because of a power failure. The battery power is switched on when there is no sunlight. Shaji works in Kuwait. Seven years ago when he set up the panels, it cost him 7 lakh rupees and he had the means to indulge his passion for solar energy. He has a standby electricity board connection for the air conditioner. His bi-monthly power bill used to be over 3,000 rupees, but now he pays a nominal fee. During the past seven years, there has not been power failure because I depend on solar energy. And I have a humble request to the government and banks to give subsidy or loans to the middle class and low class people in Kerala. They will also get the benefit from solar energy. Now Shaji plans to open an agency to market solar panels. Accessories are available at rates much lower than seven years ago. With a little help from the government, an average household can meet part of the energy from the sun. It will be cost effective in the long run. In Tiruvannandapuram, this is John Mary with camera person Anil Warrior for Real Estate Television.